The committee chaired by the Minister of Interior, Rao Varebeshola, was set up in February this year to address issues that led to the U.S. temporary visa restrictions on Nigerian passport holders. The suspension does not, however, apply to other U.S. visas such as those for official, business, tourism, and student travel. All the issues and concerns that led to the imposition of visa restriction by the United States of America have been reviewed and processes put in place or proposed to address themselves. Out of six areas of concern raised by the USA, Nigeria had fully satisfied two. Two are substantially satisfied, while some progress have been made on the remaining two. The committee, amongst others, recommended the establishment of a national identity data bank, national criminal information management system, and a national criminal DNA laboratory to aid criminal investigation, administration of criminal justice, as well as sharing of relevant information. President Muhammad Buhari, who commended the committee for its patriotic diligence in carrying out the assignment, assured Nigerians and the international community of the timely implementation of the committee's recommendations after due consideration. He noted with delight the progress made by Nigeria towards the removal of the visa restrictions already acknowledged by the United States government. The implementation of these and other priority recommendations as articulated in the report will fully address all outstanding issues that led to the visa restrictions. Government remains committed to sustaining the follow-up for the removal of the visa restrictions by the United States of America and developing a credible harmonized national identity data management system. The committee's recommendations, he explained, are capable of addressing the concerns raised by the U.S. government as well as lead to the development of a reliable national citizen identity data management system. An effective citizen data management system is critical for socio-economic planning, improved service delivery and good governance, as well as national and global security. It also has the overarching benefit of enhancing the integrity of the nation's citizens' identity instruments for the purpose of information sharing. At a news briefing shortly after, Interior Minister Rauf Arebeshola announced that the harmonization of all existing data in the country must be completed by the end of June next year. INEC to collaborate with NIMC and NOA to utilize the NIN in voters' validation exercises for upcoming elections and work towards ensuring that all eligible voters are issued NIN latest, absolutely latest, by 31st December 2022. We are now working on blockchain technology, which will ensure 100% integrity and credibility of data, which is a part of a new emerging technologies. When that is in force in place, then the issue of data manipulation, it will never happen, inshallah. An implementation committee is soon to be constituted to further study the recommendations and develop a workable action plan in the best interest of Nigeria.